Hey guys, we're back with another video, and this time we're playing more Final Fantasy 7, and we're gonna go to the Gold Saucer, and we're gonna try to find Yuffie if we can at this point of the game, but yeah, <laughs> let's just go to the Gold Saucer. And yeah, we went to North Coral, and now we're going here. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? And it's, all, and it's my fault. All my fault. <laughs> so here we get to see Barrett's story pretty much. With Coral. My hometown. Coral's always been a coal mining town. It may be dusty and poor, but it's calm. It's a real small town. That's the first time I ever heard Mako Reactor mentioned since then. Looks very different <laughs> when it's not destroyed. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is dying. I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. The coal's been ours for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dai, no one uses coal nowadays. It's the sign of the times. Right, everything is Mako now. It's, it'll be alright, Dai, and Shimmer Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Listen, Dine, I don't want my wife, Mirna, to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Dine, you've got to understand. Understand? Yeah. <laughs> That's how the coral, coral reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. And then everyone died. <laughs> it happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. Didn't they hear in the news that Shinra was like bad or something like at all? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they didn't have any news, or newspaper, or I don't know, <laughs> their news source, something. <laughs> Shinra troops, what for? There was an explosion at a reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Don't blame yourself, we're all, we were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why, that's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife Mirna too. Hey everyone, if you want to go to the gold saucer, hurry and get on. Ride the ropeway, yep. Let's get on. Yeah, I don't know if we ever get to see Mirna. Dine was my best friend, we were close ever since we were kids. And yeah, I guess Shinra just like grew like crazy over time or something. <laughs> I never knew, but Barrett never said a thing. Dot 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 dot. We better go on. Or like they, um, they grew more toxic over time or, well, there's this whole thing with before crisis, but yeah. <laughs> And they, they probably say more in uh, Crisis Core and stuff. Yeah, we're going to the Gold Saucer. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's like giant mushrooms. Like yellow gold. I mean, <laughs> gold mushrooms. I don't know. I wonder how that's gonna look in the remake. Well, you could say that about 
pretty much everything in the game outside of Midgar. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a giant Moogle cat thing with this mouth open. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the Gold Saucer. There's a save point over there, but you gotta use like BP or something. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Oh yeah, we're here because we're trying to find Sephiroth. And like the, from what we heard, the way that he went is uh leading us to here so that's what we're here for well i think sephiroth went through here i don't know we're, we're just here that's yeah we're just here <laughs> welcome to the gold saucer are you together a single pass is three thousand gil or you can purchase a lifetime pass for thirty thousand gil wait how much do i have right now six thousand okay yeah, pretty, like, the way they make you do this is you do the this one first, and then later you do the other one. Thank you very much. If you leave Gold Saucer, your tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can only use at the Gold Saucer. GP can only be redeemed at the games in Wonder Square and at the Chocobo races. Your GP limit is 10,000, so be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. Okay, let's go. And here we are. Wow, let's have fun. I know this isn't the right time to do this. Hey, Barry, cheer up. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go. Whisper, whisper, wasn't that a little harsh, Eris? Whisper, whisper, just act normal when this happens. Whisper, you think so? Of course. We're gonna go play. So play, mess around all you want. Don't forget we're after Sephiroth. <laughs> I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. You better be careful. Sephiroth might be around. Oh. Yeah, it's just... Okay, who should we bring? Oh, just bring him. You wanna go with me? Go together. Um, should we explore everywhere now, or... Yeah, uh, I don't think there's much to do here right now. I'll just go in each of these for a little bit. Okay, we'll come back here in a second. Yeah, the second time you come... Wait, wait what just happened? Where am I? Oh. Why can't I <laughs> go back? Go back. What are you? Oh my. <laughs> Just to show what each place looks like. The ghost square. Square. Oh yeah, you can look at this. It shows pretty much everything here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, what did that? Shinra, oh, so they built the gold saucer. I think I knew that. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go in each of these. Hey you, what are you looking so down for? How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. Oh, so sorry. I'm, I'm a fortune-telling machine. The name's 
Kate Sith or Kit Ketchy. <laughs> We're just gonna call him Kate Sith because why not? You can only read the future. Are you kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here goes. <laughs> Ordinary luck. It will be an act of fortune. Given to the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Huh? Let me try again. Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue. Forget it. <laughs> blue, the color of holy. <laughs> wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. What the? Read it out loud, Cloud. What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. And that is talking about Eris. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's talking about Eris. Or hinting, like foreshadowing. <laughs> I guess. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I ever got something like this. Then shall we? To where? Being a fortune teller, this is gonna bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, I'll never be able to relax. So I'm going with you. Cloud, it's alright with you? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Hey! <laughs> yeah, the second time we come back here is where we do the... The, um, the, the date. What happened? Shh. Shinra soldiers, even here. Attention, dismiss. Okay, let's, um, I think we're supposed to go to the round square. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my God. I went to the wrong one. <laughs> I mean, uh, this one, Battle Square. Wait, was it Battle Square? Wait, but I thought there was, there was Dio standing. Hmm. Dead. What the? Hey, Cloud. Wait, can we go back for a second? <laughs> I thought Dio was standing there. We could talk to him. Did Sephiroth do this? No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Uh, uh. Hey, what happened? Uh, uh, a man with a gun on his arm. Did he hold it right there and stay quiet? Did you guys do this? No, no, it wasn't us. Hurry and run, it's gonna get ugly. And he ruins it. Hey, hey, stop them. <laughs> or no, actually, maybe Kate says plan to do that. That's as far as you go. Wait, listen to... Cloud. <laughs> These big giant machines. One more to go. Yes. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Gateway to heaven. Okay, and we end up here. Are you alright? Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. A desert prison? Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. 
but there was one special exception. Hmm, isn't that Barrett? Barrett, did you stay back? This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Phew, that's one of your friends. He sure looks dangerous. Barrett. This one's been shot too. Wait, let's... Oh yeah, you can go in these little torn down houses and stuff. Oh yeah, this part of the desert is where like Barrett's old town used to be. Uh, the the coal town. <laughs> well, Barrett and down where they used to be. Yeah, I thought like we could go back and talk to uh, is in Dio. Did I say Dine earlier? <laughs> I meant Dio. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they, they do cure three, or I think they only do cure three, like every now and then. When they're battling them. You can go in here too, but yeah. Wait, where am I? <laughs> oh, Casey has the manipulate. Okay, yeah. No, don't mug. Mithril safe. What? Force? No. Wait, no, you could buy four slots. Wait, what's the Mithril Saber? Oh my god. You know what, I might just run from these battles. I don't remember what the Mithril Saber was. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna go now. Oh yeah, in this uh, in this hole here, there used to be this uh, this little toy in the corner. Um, for it's like a little red toy, and you do like these like challenge fights, but they took it out, and uh, they have it in the the Japanese version of the game, but like they have these these debug fights and um yeah in the japanese version there's like higher encounter rates for all the battles and stuff um i mean for all the areas and stuff and yeah <laughs> there's like some more differences but yeah oh wait we should just run i don't know if the mythical saber is important or not Oh wait, do we have anything new for you? Should just put stuff on me. Oops. Oh, we have manipulate and transform. Okay. Whoa ho! Welcome to Coral Prison. Okay, let's go over here. Haha. Ha, ha. Yeah, this guy just like follows you around for no reason. <laughs> Let's get some more cure three. <laughs> oh nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we're trying to get out of the prison here because uh, well, you'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Rookie. This desert is extremely dangerous. It'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave, it'll swallow you. I hear some of them never make it out. The best thing is to stay out of the desert entirely. Yeah, this guy just keeps following us. And let's save here, because we got a save point. We're in the coral prison. Those guys only tell lies. Only lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just talk with them a couple times, and you'll get sick of them. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. Man with a gun on his arm? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> you wanna see the boss? Go southwest and you'll meet him. You'll meet him. You'll meet him. Once out in the desert, stay still and don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. There's no way you'll ever see a mysterious chocobo carriage. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> yeah, they give you some hints there. <laughs> This elevator will take you to the top, but you gotta be picked as a chocobo racer first. Yeah. Yeah, once you go to a certain point over here, he just stops following you. Wait, how did I... What? I'm ax oh my god, I'm accidentally <laughs> I'm accidentally attacking myself here. Whatever, I think we're good. <laughs> Cause like when I'm selecting who to hit. Okay, whatever. following us again. Didn't I tell you not to come here? Should I just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. Yeah, that's what he was shooting. <laughs> Didn't want none of you to get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and, and hurry here. Barrett, just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another, another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. Barrett, Dime, come quick. The village has been atta being attacked. It's Shinra soldiers. What? He has different clothes on and stuff. It's pretty cool. <laughs> What the hell happened? Very angry. Hey Barrett, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting, let's go back to the village. Barrett, dying, protect the village. Oof, old man. <laughs> the way he's dancing. Come on, Barrett, we gotta hurry. Gurg. Excuse me. Barrett, you stay here. Kya ha ha. You can shoot all day and never hit him with aim like that. Shut up. Kya ha ha, stop playing around. And cover me. Watch out. Dying, hang on. Listen to me, you're coming back to the village here. 
Yeah, I, I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene, they're they all waiting on us. <laughs> yeah, so that's how that happens. It's, uh, Dine's left arm and then Barrett's right arm. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took everything away. Back then I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me, but his was the left arm. Dot dot dot. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. We need we need your help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you going to save the planet? Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright, I'm not so different from you. That's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. So I guess it'll be Barrett, me, and... Yeah, we're, we're good with that. Fortune's good, everything is perfect. Oh wait, we should take the, um... Manipulate off of him for a second. Oops. <laughs> okay, now it's... There you go. Oh yeah, this chest over here. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, let's explore over here. Yeah, and then the, the item called the right arm. I don't know if that's like a joke towards Barrett or something, but... <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, let's, oh, never mind, <laughs> nice, oh yeah, um, <laughs> Scarlet during that, uh, that little cutscene, or I think all of them, <laughs> they look like they're shooting, like, finger guns or something, I don't know, <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Well, she looks like she's shooting finger guns and stuff. It's kind of funny. Want to enter the chocobo race? Yeah, I want to enter. Then go get permission with the boss of this place. Who's the boss? You don't even know that? Oh, man. Thinking of living here forever? Then, then live a long life. Oh, yeah. Another thing that some people don't know is... Oh. <laughs> I'll show it after this. Yeah, I'm trying to just kill him first. If we get two of the bandits, then we'll just run, I guess. <laughs> but if it's just one, I think we're good. Just killing all the enemies. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have self destruct. Does some damage, so we gotta heal. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. You can actually, you can actually enter this truck here. Looks like we could get some sleep here, and then you could sleep in it. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> okay, can we talk to these guys? I don't think so. Just wanted to go to the left. So 
see if I can explore some. Oh shoot. We need to do something about this. Uh, I don't know what's the strongest thing I should do here. Wizard staff. Please just kill him. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I think we should just stop messing around here. Oh, we got a tent though. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here, so. You knew? Then go and pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Cotez, just kidding. Never seen your face around here before. Going up? Yeah, up. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the gold saucer's garbage dump, and that makes all of you scrubs. The only way to get back up there is to win the Chocobo race, but it's not as easy as you rookies think. Of course, if you got the boss's permission, it'd be a different story, but you'll never get that. Ha 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 ha. The only way to... Yeah, okay. So, now we have to go all the way... Wait, should we sleep in here again? Or... No, I think we're good. <laughs> so now we have to go all the way north. Well, I don't know if it's actually north, but we gotta go all the way up. And... Yeah, we're gonna go see Dime. Yeah, if you enter the desert up there, the endless desert, like if you, if you find the chocobo carriage, then that brings you like out of the desert or something like that if you get lost. And yeah, I think there's cat. No, I don't think. Actually, yeah, I don't think there's cactuars there. I think there's only cactuars on the cactuar island. Wait, we should heal. Yeah, we're gonna save again, because why not? <laughs> Wait, what does this guy have to say? Oh, okay. I'll tell you one thing, Rookie. This desert is extremely dangerous. It will welcome you- Oh, wait. Talk to that guy. He looks like the guy that follows you around, or maybe he is the guy that- I don't know. Maybe. We already saw that. Okay, let's run from this. <laughs> yeah. We go this way. Go up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one's been shot, too. So now we go through the gate and over here. Use the limit break because we got Barrett's limit break too. Crit. <laughs> but yeah, why not use it? Because, yeah. <laughs> up and we're here this is the desert I was talking about let's see what you have to say man the boss was really in a bad mood today or was it one of his better days okay so pretty much yeah you just go to the right <laughs> and then you end up here and yeah there's not really much here wait actually oh actually um we can get some enemy skills here, why don't we do that? Uh, wait, who do I have manipulate on? Oh wait, shoot, I think I... Oh, wait, did I? 
Wait, did I equip the other enemy skill or are we good? Wait, let me, <laughs> let me use match or magic against them, see how it does. Or just use the limit breaks. <laughs> Oh, blade beam. <laughs> Let's see what blade beam looks like. Yeah, blade beam is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, in Final Fantasy VI, like, uh, wait, we got something on the very. Um, oops. Yeah, in Final Fantasy VI, um, the, the limits work, like, differently. Uh, there's no, like, bar for it. They're just called, like, desperation attacks. And you do it when your health is, like, really low. I think they do it automatically or something. But, um... Oh, we got it. Okay, nice. And we got it here too. Okay, cool. <laughs> we didn't have to manipulate. Okay. Oh, I didn't equip it on. Okay, that's why. <laughs> okay. Wait, what does it do? Other than... Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's just to manipulate. Yeah, see, some of these, like, steel, like, it puts dexterity plus two. And then you level it up to get mug mug and yeah there's another enemy skill we can get here actually we should try to get it yeah from these guys these guys okay let me use manipulate there you go let me kill one of them I think each of them have the laser. There you go. Oh, he just used it, but not on the right character. <laughs> yeah, let's get laser. And there you go. Yeah, laser's pretty cool. I think it does like a gravity type damage thing. Something like that. <laughs> High potion. Okay, I think we're good now. So let's go up here. Yeah, an easy way to just get here is just when you enter the desert, just go right and you'll be here. Oh, we're about to fight him. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Dying, is that you? Uh, we're not going to use the right arm or anything, because... That's too easy. That's too easy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll just fight him normally. Now, that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen, Dine, I want to. When he shoots like that, it's like he shoots like in front of him or something, like without hurting him. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I can't hear her voice. What's that? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's Eleanor's voice begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. Excuse me. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Excuse me. But what what are you doing in a place like this? Why you want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why the hell do you care? You think the dead understand wise? Is hearing Shinra's excuses gonna make people in Coral understand anything? I don't care about reasons. 
All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. Dot, dot, dot. Excuse me. You still want to hear why? All right, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. The people in the city. The city itself. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene. Dying. Marlene. Marlene's still alive. He's like, what? I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. Yeah, I don't know how she survived that, though. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, all right? So she's still alive? All right, Barrett. Then I guess you and me got to fight. What? Eleanor's all by herself. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dine, are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop, Dine. I can't die yet. Oh yeah, well my life's been over ever since then. Stop it, I don't want to fight you. Barrett. Cloud, you stay the hell out of it. This is my problem. Yeah, so Dine pretty much turns into Hojo. <laughs> Not really, but like his his mindset. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, what can we do here? <laughs> yeah, this is Dine. If you didn't know. <laughs> um Oh, let's let's try if wait, I don't think we tried Ifrit yet. Hellfire. Let's show what Ifrit has to offer. Oh yeah, Ifrit in the remake is pretty cool. Yeah, I think that did pretty good. Big shot. Wait, we don't have restore materia on. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have to use high potions or something. Oh no, don't kill us! Okay, we need to... We need to do something here. <laughs> oh, got the limit break again? Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you could drain his MP for uh, Mind Blow, but I don't know if he uses his MP for those attacks. I don't know. Uh, let's use another high potion. Oh uh, no. Uh, we might die here. Oh. <laughs> okay. We survived. <laughs> Okay, okay, we should use another one just in case. Oh, actually, we might get our limit. Okay. Wait, is he using that again? Okay, we need to use another high potion. Okay, now let's use the limit break. Oh my, he keeps using... <laughs> Hotel cocktail. Okay, I think we can finish him off with this. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, we did. Okay, erg. Okay, I guessed right then. <laughs> we got him. Silver armor. Back. I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dying, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you, I, I want to destroy everything. Everything, this crazy world, even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? 
Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett, my hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Dot, dot, dot. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Mel <laughs> Eleanor's. My wife's a memento. All right. So Marlene's already four. Bear, don't you don't ever make her cry. Dying. 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 Yeah. Dying. That's the end of dying. Dying. Me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. Erg. And we're back here. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission and win the chocobo. Dine's got his reasons and can't speak. Chocobo. <laughs> so I got this instead. Yeah, bull. I wanna go up. We're right. Did you kill Dine? You must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead. Maybe now the place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Right. I mean, no, I don't know anything. So sorry. Then will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you, there's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race, and that's held up there in the gold saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. It's a a rule's a rule, I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up and I can't do that. Okay, okay, I'll let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. Alright then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. You're right, Cloud should do it. <laughs> Have you decided? All you need now is a manager. To register and get a chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? I'll be your manager. She just comes out of nowhere, kinda. <laughs> well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kinda funny, but there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will, Esther will fill you in on the details. <laughs> hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame. Some people compete for the money. Some only for glory. And then there are people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think we need any tutorials right now. So we pretty much know how to do it. It's not too crazy difficult anyway. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. <laughs> pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top Chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He'd only be down there a day, and already he made it up here. <laughs> what? Been down there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see. So why did you get put down? Sorry, we're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Then, until we meet again, Cloud... Is he the guy that rides the black chocobo? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. 
You want to pick this up, Ramu, because <laughs> that's missable and you can't get that ever again if you leave this place. Wait, can you actually go back here? No. The race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please pro proceed to the paddock? I repeat. Yeah, so these are the next racers. And yeah, we just gotta wait for our turn. Cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He should do well. So, remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and good luck. Oh, we're doing it now? Okay. Okay, actually, I'm kind of doing this without remembering how to do it. I'm holding X right now, but... Um, oh wait, no, it's on automatic. Oh, circle is for the... Okay. Wait, I thought there was a way to like build your stamina up again. Um... Ah. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to try again here. <laughs> that boat guy. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> cloud. <laughs> okay. Too bad. That was a tough break. Let me find a better chocobo for you. Wait here for a while, okay? Okay, we're gonna have to try that again. <laughs> the race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys... Okay. Yeah. This time, Cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He should do well. So, remember how to ride? Uh, how is it again? Let's see. Press that. Yeah. Then you're stuck. Burgles. Speed up and slow down. Okay. Okay, and... Yeah, I think... Then good luck. I think we're good. Oh, okay. Square to speed up. Oh, actually, we should uh, use a little bit of our stamina here to boost. Wait, do you keep pressing square to... I don't know, I kind of forgot how <laughs> everything works here. Oh, our stamina is going down slowly, though. Should go a little bit like, like this so that um, 
don't lose our stamina. Because <laughs> we don't want that happening. Like last time. <laughs> Okay, I think we can just boost up here. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just wait for them to finish, because why not? And yeah. Did I press start? Oh. Congratulations, now you're home free. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give this letter to you if you won. If you won. <laughs> Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you earned it. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon and setting you all free. And by way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Wow, this is great. The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Now we can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm, the letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I'll bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? He was heading toward Gungaja, south of the river. Gungaga. <laughs> so, it's one of the places here. In the Final Fantasy VII world. Well, in Gaia. <laughs> Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you again. Yeah, that's, that's good. How to drive the buggy. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Uh, let me heal really quick. Or actually, should we try to get this enemy skill <laughs> before we go? Oh, okay. Let's try to do it. Miss. How could you miss? You're red 13. Oh, okay, never mind. He's just gonna do it anyway, okay. Well, we should manipulate him anyway, just so that we can kill him easier. <laughs> can you aqua on yourself, please? Oh. <laughs> no, you're gonna kill us! No! Oh my gosh. Oh wait, never mind. Wait, what just happened? Okay, I don't know what just happened, but... Oh wait, or maybe that was my manipulate attack that I just did. Okay. Yeah, maybe that... Oh, the tech... Oh yeah, the text like gets higher pitched sometimes when you're in the buggy. When you're in the buggy, <laughs> when you're in the buggy and you uh, go into the menu. So yeah, we have, uh, what is it called? We have Aqua Lung now. Water damage on all opponents. Yep. Aqua Lung is great. It is great. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite enemy skills. And yeah. Uh, wait, we should, um, try to do, actually, should we just, Try to get all these enemy skills right now. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> uh, let's see, manipulate here. Uh oh, let me kill someone else. Don't kill them all. Okay, good. <laughs> oh yeah, excuse me if you hear any noises, any weird noises, or any stomach noises, or any burps, or anything. Excuse me if you hear any of that. 
excuse me if you hear my stomach or anything. Excuse me. <laughs> like that, okay. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, big guard, that's what we're doing. Yeah. That's one of the best enemy skills in the game. Nice. Because you get a... Uh, both types of barriers. The magic defense and defense barrier, I think. Is what they're called. And yeah, we should... Uh, let's keep going this way. Yeah, I think now we can go back to the, the other continent. Thinking of being stowaways, it's 100 gil to Junon. Give it to me and I'll put in a good word with the captain. What do we do? Pay up. Okay, come on this way. Yeah, we're just going to do this now. Because why not? Yeah, we're, we're pretty much like transporting the buggy along with us, <laughs> which is pretty cool. A lot of cool things you could do in this game. Because if, um, if you enter Costa del Sol with the buggy, then it like goes along with you if you go back onto the boat, back to Junon. And then when we're here... Wait, let's see what we have to say. Lately, the economy seems to be improving. Must be the Rufus effect. Cargo ships are always coming and going from Costa del Sol. I'll forget you're being stowaways if you help with the cargo. Oh, wait, was there anything down here, actually? Oh. No, I don't think there is. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this guy. Need a heli taxi? Only in Juno. Free to Air Force personnel. Sure. Yeah, we get a free helicopter ride. Roger. Hey, taxi. We get a cool helicopter ride out of Junon. Where to? Outside Junon. And outside Junon it is. Take care. Yeah, or you could go to the next sector, like it said. But yeah, I think next sector, oh yeah, we still have the buggy. I think next sector just means like the end of the whole, uh, the whole building area. So yeah, nice. Let's kill these guys over here. Wait, just, uh, you know what, why not? <laughs> Just get more limit break usage here. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, let me wait for Red 13. Oh yeah, the Mithril Saber from earlier, I'm gonna make sure. Uh, well, I'm just gonna see what it is, cause I kinda forgot what it is. Like, cause we lost it earlier from that bandit guy. Try that again. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Zemzalet. Okay, let's. Wait for that. There you go. White wind. That's what we're looking for. Oh, what? Can we give him like an ether? <laughs> okay, now let's. There you go. Nice. <laughs> That's how you do it. There you go. Now we have white wind. Nice. White Wind is like, uh, it heals how much HP you currently have. So if you have like, 
uh, let's say you have like 700 out of 739 HP on cloud, then you'll heal yourself 700. I think that's how it works. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, next time we're just gonna find Yuffie. Okay, we're gonna, um, we're gonna save here. We are in Junon area. Okay. Yeah, later in the game, like, there's a lot of cool boss, uh, cool boss battles with, like, certain things. <laughs> like, uh, carry armor, you don't want to get, like, lapis laser twice, like, if you're doing a speed run, like, when you first battle him. <laughs> when that happens, it's, like, really funny. <laughs> okay, and there's, like, a bunch of other things we're gonna do and see, and, yeah, if I miss anything or if i forgot to talk about anything we can type it in the comments or we could talk about it in the next episode or future episodes yeah any of that and yeah okay i hope you guys like the video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later